Now that the second quarter is winding down, it's a great time to learn more about the state of the global electric vehicle market and Tesla's remarkable progress thus far. Still, there's more. We can't wait to share other exciting and significant developments from this week with you are on the horizon. So, if you don't want to miss any of these significant updates, keep watching the video. China surpasses Japan as the leading exporter of cars. Let's explore the fascinating world of electric vehicles and discuss some exciting global trends. It's incredible to see how China has recently become the leading exporter of cars worldwide, surpassing Japan, which has traditionally held that position. This remarkable achievement is attributed to the rapid development of electric vehicles in China. China's electric vehicle export surge, over 170% growth in just four months. Despite some challenges in the overall economy, China has experienced a significant increase in its export volume of electric vehicles. In just the first four months of this year, over 348,000 electric cars were exported from China, showing a remarkable growth rate of over 170% compared to last year. These electric vehicles now contribute to more than 42% of the total export value, playing a vital role in China's exceptional performance in the global automotive market. Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory one key player in this success story is Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory. This factory has an impressive annual production capacity of over 1.2 million vehicles and around 10% are exported. Apart from its established markets in Japan and Europe, Tesla has expanded its exports to North America, including Canada, since April of this year. China has always been a critical market for Tesla, and this move further solidifies its success. Setting new records in China's second quarter With June ending, Analysts eagerly await Tesla's performance in China's second quarter. Based on current data, most experts believe that Tesla is set to deliver an impressive performance with estimated vehicle deliveries ranging from 145,000 to 155,000. If Tesla manages to reach the higher end of this range, it would set a new quarterly record in China and demonstrate that Tesla's performance remains stable even in a slightly slower Chinese economy. Tesla's market share in China expected to decline amidst fierce competition. However, you should be aware that due to intense competition from other electric vehicle manufacturers in China, Tesla's market share is expected to decline from 16% in the first quarter to approximately 13% to 14%. But there's no need to be overly concerned. The electric vehicle market is vast. As long as Tesla maintains high profitability and keeps inventory low, any slight decrease in market share will be overshadowed by the overall market growth. Concerns and bankruptcies shake China's electric vehicle market. As we move into the year's second half, it's crucial to pay attention to Elon Musk's recent statement regarding the possibility of multiple new energy vehicle manufacturers facing bankruptcy. With a prolonged price war, China's softening economy, and pressure from interest rate hikes in the United States, several companies, including Leading Ideal, a well-known affordable electric hatchback manufacturer, and Lordstown Motors, which had a partnership with Foxconn in the U.S., have filed for bankruptcy. Even highly regarded companies like Xpeng Motors have experienced a significant sales decline of around 40% compared to last year. These figures are alarming. BYD Auto is likely the only company in China that can compete with Tesla. It will be exciting to see how these two companies perform in the second quarter of this year. Tesla's Next Gains Momentum 
Let's shift our focus back to Tesla, specifically in the North American market. I must say that the recent developments in charging specifications are quite astonishing. Just this month, Volvo announced it would join Tesla's North American Charging Standard or NAX camp, becoming the first European automaker. Additionally, the Society of Automotive Engineers in the U.S. is considering adopting Tesla's NAX as the unified charging standard for electric vehicles in the country. This means that apart from individual decisions by car manufacturers and charging network operators, more professional organizations are evaluating and embracing these changes. A significant boost for electric vehicle charging in the U.S. And here's the latest and most significant news. Electrify America, a subsidiary of Volkswagen, has announced that they will be adopting Tesla's NAX charging specifications. This is a remarkable development because Electrify America is one of the U.S.'s largest open-access DC fast charging network operators, second only to Tesla. You often see their green charging stations located near Tesla's superchargers. Charging Electric Vehicles in the U.S. Starting in 2025, you won't have to worry about charging your electric vehicle in the United States, regardless of the brand you drive. It will be challenging to sell electric cars without adopting the NAC standard, as even Volkswagen is reportedly in discussions with Tesla to become a charging partner. Tesla is almost dominating the U.S. charging infrastructure within a month. It will be interesting to see if Tesla can replicate the success in other markets, as more convenient charging will increase people's willingness to buy electric vehicles. The next standard Tesla offers is user-friendly and preferred by most electric vehicle owners. Uncertainty surrounding Tesla's full self-driving or FSD whether Tesla's full self-driving or FSD will shed its beta testing status with the upcoming version 12 release remains to be seen. Elon Musk has mentioned achieving level 5 autonomous driving. However, the progress and certainty of reaching that milestone still need to be made more explicit. Many people expect Tesla's full self-driving to get to a level where the driver's seat can be empty, but the progress towards that remains uncertain. The Beta Testing Conundrum Tesla has used the term beta testing for its FSD feature, allowing owners to use it. However, the official release is still awaited. The upcoming V12 version may not progress significantly towards fully autonomous driving, and doubts exist about reaching level 3. The concerns are based on the experiences of encountering issues with phantom braking in the latest version. Tesla's Official FSD Version Suppose Tesla's official version of FSD is only at level 2. In that case, it raises questions about whether viewers would accept that, mainly since Tesla's market value depends on fully autonomous driving technology. The announcement of shedding the beta status in the future adds to the concern. It raises doubts about the timeline and capabilities of FSD. The Future of Tesla's FSD and Third-Party Apps Opinions and thoughts on this matter are welcomed, as the release date for the V12 version has yet to be mentioned. It is essential to stay updated on the real-world use of full self-driving and share thoughts and comments. Additionally, there is a speculation about Tesla allowing third-party apps, similar to Apple's App Store and Google Play, which should provide an exciting opportunity for users to have more software options and features in Tesla cars. And that completes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed learning the incredible updates of Tesla models. Which of them are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Tech Bros for more content such as this.